Kate, Duchess of Cambridge is known for her close relationship with members of the royal family, including her grandmother-in-law Queen Elizabeth II. However, a report has now revealed how the monarch doubted Kate's relationship with her grandson Prince William. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge married Prince William in a stunning ceremony in London in 2011. However, the couple first met ten years earlier while studying at the University of St Andrews in Edinburgh. Reports have now claimed the Queen was not in a rush to meet Kate when she started going out with her grandson and was the reason for the delay. Although the romance between Kate and William does appear to be a fairy tale, it apparently hasn't always been that way. Looking at the Cambridge family now, it's easy to forget that more than ten years ago, Prince William and Kate's relationship was not the rock-solid pairing it is now. The exact date the two started dating is unclear but it is thought to be around the time of William's 21st birthday party in June 2003. But in 2007, they hit a rough patch and split for a brief time. It's been claimed Prince William told the Queen he wasn't sure about his relationship with Kate. But a few months down the line the pair reconnected and the relationship was on firmer ground. According to reports the Queen steered clear of Kate due to slight reservations. But a year after the split, the time was finally right for Kate to meet the Queen. The Queen and Kate reportedly got on well, however, it was not before 2010 Kate and William announced their engagement. According to a 2006 report by the Sunday Express, Queen Elizabeth II was the reason the Duke of Cambridge waited so long before proposing. A source at the palace revealed the Queen had issued a stark warning to William about marrying Kate too early. The monarch had advised, according to the source, her grandson to choose his partner very wisely. This because she felt enough was enough in terms of divorces in the family. The Queen has seen her fair share of royal divorces, with three out of her four children all divorced. The palace aide said, the Queen is the head of the church and so from a point of principle she is opposed to royal divorces. However, she has witnessed the divorces not just of her sister Princess Margaret, but also those of her three eldest children. She now feels, to put it bluntly, that enough is enough. She does not want to name names, but she is adamant that there are going to be no further royal divorces during her reign. The concept of divorce goes against the Queen's whole upbringing, which is about duty and about soldiering on in the face of adversity. She inherited a lot of her views from her mother, who was scarred by the King Edward and Wallace Simpson scandal. Both Princes William and Harry have been in no doubt that when they marry, it's for keeps. The Duchess of Cambridge has a glorious relationship with the Queen. In the documentary Our Queen at 90, Kate said of her grandmother-in-law, the most memorable engagement for me was an away day to Leicester. I went without William, so I was rather apprehensive about that. She was very supportive. The fact she took the time to make sure that I was happy and looked after for that particular occasion, which probably in everything that she's doing is a very small element, it shows just how caring she is really. 